Hey you guys, I'm back again. I'm showing you um, my very first prototype of my finished product of my folding canvas that I um, took at least I would say about almost two years to actually develop. And I'm trying to get a consistency going with, uh, with my art style and um, how I make my canvases from now on. So that way you guys can get a better grasp of my vision. This is an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper in an acrylic um, plexiglass cube that I made. Um, I thought of the idea um, on how to make my canvases, and I take here a regular eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper, like I said, and I make these little these little these little shapes, and these um, little shapes here become a physical or say larger scale of the canvas and this is it here this is it here this is it for the love of Paris um, this took me roughly six months to develop I hope my camera doesn't stop on me and um, I've been working really hard on this painting here it's, um, it's been a journey for me to sort of like make my um, my art my own art and um, make it expressive and make it um, so, sort of um, flow and unifying um, many different art styles from different artists like Basquiat and and Gustav Klimt and um, and um, um, he's on Rembrandt I mean not Rembrandt Rembrandt and and um, and um, I'm just going to Vincent Van Gogh and combining their different art styles to make one painting and add my own take into what they would have done but it's been like a balancing act you know I want to make that was my whole vision with this piece here is to make everything flow into one another and make it make it whole um, this piece here has a lot going on. I've got to explain it to you guys here because it's very, very, very intricate. This piece here has many different meanings. Um, it has very many different diff different meanings as to what it means here. Um, this could mean the beginning of a relationship. It could mean an end of a relationship. It could mean a divorce. It could mean many different things that this piece means so I guess I guess I want this piece here for, um, titled for the love of Paris to speak to the viewer I want it to speak to um, to the, the like I said the viewer and so I guess I guess the piece the piece's meaning varies from person to person so you know I wanted to develop something like that and this little keyhole that I made down here it's sort of a representation of a new start and a beginning here. You know, that's why I did that portion here. This, this, is, this is a very meaningful port, part of the entire artwork that I have here. Um, as for these eyes that I have up here, these are actually eyes that I did. Impressions of eyes with hearts in them. Because you know when people say, um, I see love in your eyes, you know, I wanted to, ha I wanted to make eyes. It looks kind of odd. It's a bit of an oddity. My works are a bit of an oddity sometimes. Because um, this is a more abstract piece. And the eyes are looking at one another. So it's like, it's like they're, the eyes are representations of figures. And they're looking at one another. And they, 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 they fall in love with, with, the, with the gaze of, of, a, of a male and female. You know, um, I'm trying to figure out my best way to explain it. And this here, this clock here, can represent the passage of time in a relationship, um, be it good or bad. You know, I got a little inspiration here from the melting of the clocks. I took some of my glue here that I have. These are like little, small, little finite threads that I have here, and um, that kind of inspired me to do this. And I was thinking of a little bit of um, Gustav's Clint, Clint's um, Lady in Gold, which which helped me make this piece a little bit. And I was thinking about the other stars, the other artists, like Basquiat over here, and just combining and fusing these 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 different art styles together is really, really, really crazy. Um, I just thought of it one day, you know. And um, there's a there's a um, Chinese artist who I admire. His work his work is very, very good. 
Um, I can't really announce yet his name. I believe his I believe his first name is Lu, but he's a very famous Chinese artist, and his work sell for upwards of eight million dollars. So I mean, the guy just has to just make one piece, and he's he's basically set for life. You know, um, I, I'm I'm more concerned about my passion for art and and the hunger to improve and and do better with each of my paintings that's what i want to convey to people when i do a piece of artwork it isn't just made just for monetary value it's made to teach a lesson it's made to teach many different things about about art and and and, and life and and happiness and and humor and and goofiness you know the, those kinds of things that I want to portray in my art here these this here represents um, the growth of a tree here and I have a little basket out over here too as well I took and put some words here in metallic marker I don't want to touch them because I'm kind of scared I have to like put some kind of sealant over this so it doesn't smudge but um, I just finished this a while ago and um, this here is a tree of course here this is the tree and it's growing and the hearts down here are actually the roots is what that is so that's what that is there and um, this lock here I was inspired by what I saw I've read an article about about Paris having a bridge I'm not really sure the, the name of the bridge at all but um, they have a bridge in Paris where they have so many locks on them um, the bridge is going to collapse because people keep putting um, locks on the bridge. You know, they have they have to tell tourists, advise tourists not to do that, otherwise to destroy the bridge. Um, I haven't been to Paris, but I really want to go to Paris, and maybe if I'm lucky one day, I'm able to take this with me or at least show it off to someone that's from that's from Paris. But um, this is my work here, and I've been working six months hard. Um, because art is something that I love to really do. I'm really passionate about this. And it's not just about the passion. It's, it's not just about the money. It's about, it's about the learning curve. And it's about um, speaking about who you are as a person through your art. And, and displaying your individuality. Um, it's like I was telling you before about the folding canvas. This is the new concept that I came up with. The canvas here actually folds. So you can see there that I was serious it literally folds just like that you see the crack in between it I'm just gonna try to put it back here I don't want to mess it up because it's like it's not entirely dry just yet so but it worked out it worked out very very well um, you can look at the pictures at my website at impressoart.com um, or my deviant art so the link is at the bottom of the uh, of the page here and yeah, that's basically it. And thanks for watching my video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.